Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. I'm going to introduce two new patches that I've been working on. First of them is glass shader and the second one is iridescent shader. Let's start. First things first, I'm going to import a face mask from the library. In order to do that, I'll go to library and download the first item that I come across. It takes a little bit of time. And then I'm gonna import head occlude occluder from my computer. This one. Yeah, I think it's important. So now I'm gonna add face tracker to the scene and put a null object under the face tracker and then drag and drop your items into the null object. Head occluder must be the first item and the mask is the second one. Mask is for some reason oversized. Let's reduce the size of this one to 0.17 maybe. Yeah. So now I have to align it on, on the occluder. Yeah, I think it looks fine. Now I have to change the opacity of head occluder. In order to do that, I go to material of the occluder and turn the, turn the shader type to flat. Land mode alpha, reduce the opacity to zero. Let's align this mask one more time to match the eyes. All right. Yeah, it's good to go now. I already imported my patches, which, you know, the first one is glass shader and the second one is iridescent shader. Um, Let's start with the glass shader, right? In order to use that, I need the background texture, which is camera texture in this case. I need to, ex I need to extract the texture of camera, drag and drop into the patch editor. And I need my mask material, which is number two in this case. I need to convert shader type to flat, remove the diffuse texture, blend mode alpha, it can be double sided or not, it's all up to you, and export the texture input. Now connect camera texture to diffuse texture of glass shader and then the output goes to input of material. Now you have the glass shader. You can increase or reduce the chroma effect. Let's keep it at two. You can increase the strength of glass shader, which manipulates the texture while it passes through the item, uh, whatever object you have, based on the normals. So you can go minus or like about zero. Let's keep it at um, 20, let's say, yeah. Now I'm gonna show you the iridescent shader. Drag and drop, it gives error because you need to connect devices, which is device object. And the second one is iridescent object. In this case, it's the mask. Right, so I'm gonna extract the producer patch of device and connect it. Now go to mask, create producer patch as well, connect it to iridescent object slot, and now the patch works. But where are we gonna connect this one? 
I, I prefer connecting this to environment texture slot instead of you know diffuse texture because it's sorted too heavy right so what I'm gonna do is um, yeah you need to play around these numbers to figure out which one is the best option for your project and um, you see there are like different stuff that you can do but in the end it's too heavy for me uh, I think in real life there shouldn't be many examples of this kind of iridescent right it's usually it, it's usually kind of environment texture texture rather than base texture base color or whatever you call it so in order to make it more realistic I'm gonna extract the environment texture input of the material and I'm gonna connect this to that slot but it's still kind of heavy right so I'm gonna multiply this I usually multiply this with uh, 0.25 so I can still have have this sense of iridescent um, while I'm having the glass shader effect, right? So as as the head moves, you will see the change of these colors based on the option uh, you have on your iridescent shader, and you can still play around. Oops. can still play around the glass shader you know sometimes it's higher the better sometimes it's lower the better yeah so if we connect this you see it's too bright and you cannot cannot say if it's glass or if it's completely iridescent so I might want to reduce this maybe reduce this as well a little bit yeah that's that's it I suppose so if you want to support me you can purchase these items on Gumroad I'm gonna leave the link below and please don't forget to like this video and subscribe. See you next time.